Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Today we'll have a look at this paper, Selenium and Coenzyme Q10, Intervention Prevents Telomere Attrition and Associated Reduced Cardiovascular Mortality, a substudy of a randomized clinical trial. The shortening of telomeres is associated with aging and cardiovascular disease. A quick diversion to telomeres. Telomeres are regions on the ends of the chromosome, which are used to protect them from damage and fraying. Because of the way the DNA is copied when cells replicate, the telomeres become shorter over time, which acts as a measure of aging at the cellular level. When telomeres become too short, the cells will normally commit suicide by apoptosis. Although telomere length is not regarded as a great measure of aging anymore, short telomeres are associated with aging. The trial was a randomized placebo-controlled trial with 118 male and female participants aged between 70 and 80, with an average age of 77. The intervention was to provide CoQ10 and selenium for 42 months. The region where the study was conducted has low selenium levels in the soil, with, and the participants also had below the recommended amount of selenium. Interventions slowed the telomere shortening and reduced cardiovascular mortality. The participants with longer telomeres had improved life expectancy. Looking at the trial in more detail, the participants were all chosen from the same location and for being over 69 years old. Exclusion criteria were around serious heart conditions, although other ailments such as moderate heart failure or diabetes were not excluded. So the term healthy may not be totally appropriate, but it is probably a reasonable sample for people in that age group. 443 participants qualified, divided into treatment group of 219 and a placebo group of 222. The trial was for four years. The treatment group received 200 micrograms of selenium and 200 milligrams of CoQ10 per day. The study was a substudy from the main one and took blood samples after 42 months. Those who chose not to participate in the substudy or who died during those 42 months were not included, leaving a final population of 118, of which 67 were in the active treatment group and 51 in the placebo group. They measured the telomere lengths in the leukocytes, which are white blood cells and are part of the immune system. The blue lines show the placebo group, while the red line is for the treatment group. The treatment group's telomeres slightly increased by 0.019, while the placebo group decreased by 0.129, I think that the units for this is kilobases, but I cannot find it in the paper. The females saw slightly better results, though this is not significant. The authors propose that this might be due to females having lower CoQ10 levels to begin with. The cohort was followed for a further six years, during which time 24 participants died of cardiovascular causes, 12 in each group. Though as the groups were of different sizes, this was 18% of the treatment group, and 24% of the placebo group. They then looked at the telomere lengths as recorded at the start and 42 months for the participants who died during the follow-up period against those that survived. This graph shows the telomere lengths for the survivors in blue and those that died in red. The survivors mean telomere length was 0.941, while the mortality group was 0.791. By the way, I think that the p-value for this should be 0.01 based on the text of the paper rather than 0.03. The two graphs show the same information split up by the placebo and the treatment group. This Kaplan-Meier curve shows the mortality for those in the lowest quartile for telomere shortening in red compared to those in the highest three quartiles, so that 25% of participants who saw the least amount of telomere shortening were compared to the rest. This does show an association with shorter telomeres and cardiovascular mortality. This was in an area of low selenium, so the effect may have been larger, but it is interesting to see the inverse correlation between telomere lengths and cardiovascular mortality and the potential of maintaining telomeres with CoQ10. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found the video helpful. I wish you all the best and I will speak to you all again soon.